The Beaches Area Historical Society began with a simple idea. Compile a living history of the people and events that transformed the beaches from scrub pines, marsh, dune, and palm thicket to a robust, desirable community of homes and businesses and a destination for beach lovers and travelers from around the world. In 1978, a small group of friends gathered in the living room of Jean and J.T. McCormick. Jean McCormick proposed the idea of starting a historical society to document for posterity the lives and experiences of the men and women who carved a life and a livelihood from this barrier island comprised of Atlantic, Neptune, Jacksonville, and Ponte Vedra beaches, along with Mayport and Palm Valley. The beaches share a unique identity and cultural heritage. This small idea became the Beaches Area Historical Society, and with it, a mission to plan a future for our past. Establishing Pablo Historical Park allowed the new society to acquire aging buildings and pieces that played an integral role in early beach life. They reached out to the community, and the community responded. Beach's volunteers contributed their time, their beloved memories, their family histories, and their precious memorabilia. The Society began acknowledging important but nearly forgotten buildings and events in Beach's history by placing historical markers which chronicled those events for the benefit of many generations to come, one of which celebrated a major milestone in Beach's history, the centennial of Jacksonville Beach. 1984 was a year full of activities and events designed to commemorate the occasion which gave the Society an opportunity to reconnect with the descendants of the Skull family, the early settlers of the Beaches area. Also in the 80s, the Society launched its inaugural fundraising gala. A big success, the gala became an annual event, raising funds for preservation, education, and other projects it helped position the society as a staple of the community. The galas proved to be a major fundraising event and a time of fellowship and fun. Organizations both locally and nationwide recognized the society's preservation efforts. In 1998, they celebrated a 20-year anniversary by opening the Jean H. McCormick Archive Building on land donated by J.T. McCormick. Soon after, the Jacksonville Beach Visitors Center opened at the park. As the society grew, they needed more space to house and display their expanding collection of historical pieces, photos, and documents, and to provide improved access for the general public. They needed a building, a museum, in 2002, the Society launched a community-wide campaign. Civic leaders, individuals, and organizations responded. In 2004, the Society unveiled the final design of the museum. They broke ground in February 2005 and hosted a grand opening on March 7, 2006. With new presentation and archive space, the museum could display more historically significant pieces in their permanent exhibit, like the Timucuan dugout canoe, which predates the Spanish explorations of Florida. And they built space for rotating exhibits, like the history and artistry of the highwaymen, a history of surfing at the beach, and the story of Palm Valley. What began as a month-long exhibit commemorating Fletcher High School's 70th anniversary became an annual event that draws hundreds to celebrate beach heritage and Fletcher pride. And the partnership between Fletcher and the Society remains. In 2012, the museum relocated one of its newer assets, 
a carpenter Gothic chapel. Built in 1887, the chapel had former lives as St. Paul's by the Sea Episcopal Church and the Beaches Chapel. It now serves as a popular venue for weddings, community gatherings, museum programs, and it's the home of the very successful Chapel Concert Series. In 2015, the museum was fortunate to acquire the 1873 Osterreicher McCormick Homestead in Palm Valley. The old homestead was secured and transported, then fully restored at its new location in the park. In addition to the museum's efforts to preserve and restore, they inspire and educate through their popular lecture series highlighting noted historians and speakers. Other family-friendly educational and cultural programs are held at the museum and park and throughout the community. The gala tradition continues with Beaches Legends, an event that recognizes those who are making tomorrow's history today. The success of the first 40 years would not have been possible without its principal resource, you, your dedication to history, and your mark on Beaches Heritage can be seen in every corner and every concept of the Beaches Museum. In a rapidly changing landscape, planning a future for our past becomes even more important. The Beaches Museum is privileged to preserve and share the distinct history and culture of our wonderful Beaches community.